Hello friends, welcome to the automation revolution. In this video, we will learn about uh, timer operation in uh, Siemens TI portal. So, where is a uh, timer used? In uh, industries, many process uh, should work for some delays. Like if uh, you have uh, any process industry, so for in process industry, uh, some uh, motor should run uh, for certain times or uh, forward condition or in certain times for uh, reverse conditions. Uh, if uh, tank is there, so in wall, uh, wall can be open for uh, some times or it can be open after some time so generally we are giving some delays in uh, process so it can be on delay or off delay so that's why we are using this timer operation in plc so here we will see how we can configure the timer in siemens plc so here uh, i have taken s7 uh, 1200 series plc and in this s1200 uh, there are four types of timers available uh, pulse timer, T1 timer, T off timer and retentive timer. So we will see uh, step by step each and every timer. So first I have uh, taken this T1 timer. T1 timer have four types of parameters. Uh, one is input, uh, one is output, uh, then preset time and estimated time. So first we will see uh, the block uh, of this T1 timer. T1 timer is generally used for giving uh, on delay. So when uh, you want to uh, on output after uh, preset time after certain uh, certain time that time we are using T1 timer. So here input and output both uh, are uh, boolean data type and then preset time and estimated time is both uh, parameters in time da data type. So this time is stored for 32 bits. Here uh, we have given uh, this pulse time time in diagram. So this is for input output estimate and preset time when i am giving a high signal from input so that time timer will start to count the time so whatever uh, preset times we have given up to this it will uh, increase the time and after this preset time its output will be on one second when i am give, uh, giving negative signals or, or from 1 to 0 so that time uh, this timer will be uh, reset and this uh, estimated and preset time also will be reset and output will be off when i uh, again i will give input so it the timer will uh, start to count the time and after this preset time we will get output so this is the uh, timing diagram of t on now we will see uh, how uh, this uh, t on timer will work in ti so i have downloaded this uh, program and I will make monitoring on. Now when I will uh, give input I 0.0. .0 so that time timer is started. And after uh, this 5 second. Output will be on. So if you have any questions. How we can give this uh, time. So this timer is taking generally. Uh, this value in millisecond. If I give dash 10 and enter. So it is taking in millisecond. So if you want to give in uh, second just uh, write down uh, uh, the value and then s this enter so it will take uh, this time in second estimated time is uh, displaying when timer is started so that uh, value is updating in estimated time so here if you want to display uh, the value so you need to uh, give memory double word because this time data type is 32 bit stored memory so i am giving md0 to store the data so this operation is uh, for TM after this 5 second this output will be in. So for that timer this input should be continuously on. So when this input will be off timer will be reset. Second timer is pulse timer. Now we will see diagram of pulse. In pulse uh, timing diagram when I make input on or I, when I give just input, uh, input as a pulse this timer will be started and it will remain uh, on output for that uh, preset times after this uh, preset time this output will be to, uh, off automatically so in this timer we just need to give uh, any single pulse no need to give continuous input now we will see how we can uh, make in TI Now we'll 
this gives single pulse to this uh, TP timer you can see timer is already started and for 5 seconds this output will be on so this operation is for pulse timer T of timer is some different uh, from uh, T on timer it is generally uh, giving a neg uh, uh, it is operating at negative triggering and it is giving off delay so we will see the diagram of T of also in T of timer when input is uh, given the output will be on but timer is not started when you just keep T of timer is giving off delay and it is operating at negative triggering so keep uh, this uh, one thing in this mind and this is uh, total parameter for table so S7 for 1200 and 1500 PLC supporting for this uh, T of timer and what are the memory area uh, for uh, this addressing now operate T of timer so I am giving input I0.2 so you can see output Q0.2 will be on but timer is not started when I just give negative triggering timer is started and after 5 seconds this output will be off so this is off delay timer last timer uh, retain timer for retentive timer this timer has a memory uh, the uh, time from uh, where it, it is stopped once again I will give the input 0 0.3 so it is started from the holding time and after the uh, preset time this output will be on so in this timer you, you need to reset the timer after completing of the operation so this timer will be reset so thank you for watching the video next uh, session we will learn about uh, counter operation thank you very much